today. We are releasing automatic detection between parts for FEA analyses. Until now, this has always been a totally manual process and I'll walk you through that now. So you can see in this assembly, we have multiple parts and here I'm creating a contact between two. So I have to select one, hide the solid and then select the other face. So now these two parts are in contact with each other. This works well, but it takes a very long time. So what we've done is develop automatic contact detection. So under contacts, you'll see here, we have the automatic choice. And this very quickly calculates all of the contacts between every solid in the model. And you can see them shown here on the left. We can group select or bulk select with control and shift. If I select just one part and then filter contacts by selection, SimScale will show me every contact that is associated with that part. And we could also change them in one go if we wanted to. So I've changed them here from bonded to sliding. It is possible that sometimes we might need to reverse the master and slave assignments. And we're going to walk through that here. So there's the part in blue and pink that you can see. So this is the, the contact. What we want to do is switch from the master and slave. So there's an option to swap them just here. And now they're the opposite of what they were previously. At the top, we have a conflict that has been automatically detected. So if there's problems in the simulation, SimScale will let you know. For now, I'm going to ignore these issues. So underneath contacts, you can see that most of the contacts are green, but there's a couple that have exclamation marks. So we have some problems there. Um, I'm going to carry on anyway, set up the model with some constraints and some pressure forces. And then you'll see when I start a simulation run, SimScale tells us that we have some errors. We can see that some parts are missing contacts and some contacts are conflicting. We can go back up and fix these. Um, here I'm just deleting them and I'm going to rerun automatic contact detection. Honestly, this is a faster way. We can also move contacts between being standard contacts and physical contacts. So if I select one here at the very bottom, we can switch it across to being a physical contact. I think that covers just about everything. Happy simulating.